SME Market Hub. Buy, sell, list, connect. Hello. Thank you. Hi, my name is Cornelia O'Dwyer and we are at Viceroy Restaurant on Akea de Shola in Victoria Island for another juicy episode of Real Talk. Come with me. On this episode, we have Ill Rhymes, content producer and TV host, Stephanie Coker, TV host and actress, and Ayola, musician and actor. Are you nervous? You have to tell the truth. Hi, Hi guys. Hi. Hello. Wow. Hi. How are you? Hi, Stephanie. Hello, how are you? You look beautiful, darling. Thank you. <laughs> We're nervous. We Illy and Ayola. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm so um, happy to have men on this episode today. Yeah. <laughs> Not that I don't need here, you here, here. <laughs> really, but I'm really excited to hear what you guys have to say. We are glad to be here. So there's a story about um, a couple who um, were talking about the pressure of um, proposals. Okay. So there's been a couple of dating for about 10 years, anniversaries coming up, and then the lady's expecting that the guy's going to propose on the anniversary, and it doesn't happen. So she's like, ah. you know, we've been dating for 10 years. She's kind of wondering whether she should, you know, ask him how far or, you know, leave the relationship. So I guess I'll throw it to you. What is the reason for the delay? I mean, why would it take you 10 years I'm a bit confused. to propose to a guy? I'm, I'm really confused with that. <laughs> like, let's be honest. Yeah. You've been long, dating for right. 10 years. Obviously, it's a great time. Mm -hmm. It's your anniversary. He's still with you. You guys are having a good time. Uh, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Like he's still with you, so so what's changing? If he says marry, uh, you're not. I'm if if you're not proposed, he's not proposed in ten years. I think that's broken for everyone. Wait, what were you doing for ten already. years? Why why I wouldn't even stay with a guy for ten years? No, but the question is, are you in love? No, the question is, right? No, no, it's, it's a steady relationship. Ever? That's the point. Yeah. Ten years is way too long, man. I can't. No, he's not. I'm serious. gonna be a feminist that's on this serious. one. So what's wow. your threshold? What's your threshold from like a female perspective? Um, I think you can get. Well, I don't. I, Okay, there isn't really a correct number, like, okay, three years after, you should get married. No, but 10 years, that's ridiculous. Like, honey, you're clearly just keeping me around just so I'm that, you know, I'm you around. Right I'm judging you right now. <laughs> like, you, you, yeah, right? You're just keeping me around because I, I, I think it's you, if, you, if you really loved me and you see a future of me and you're really committed to me, you would have proposed by now. Isn't that a decade or so? That's a decade. Ten years, right? That's a decade. No, nah, honey. That's too no. long. That's, that's and especially if we're long. dealing with, like, post-university, let's just say, you know, uh -huh. after university. Sweet. Hard, Most so people graduate so like what twenty one while they were in school. Well, I'm guessing if it's let's just be reasonable. Because of the age group, yeah, because right? of the age. Group. So yeah, let's just say yeah. No, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have to be a feminist on this one because I believe I I cannot be with a woman for ten years without knowing exactly what I want from her. Wait, so you're saying if you had do you have a sister? I would have broken up with her if I you don't have any sisters. Okay, see, see, maybe that's why. Because if you had a sister that was dating a guy for ten years, you'd be like, let's be real, yeah. These are these are my dynamics, right? Very simple. They were dating for 10 years. Obviously, they love each other, right? Mm -hmm. He's happy in a relationship. She's obviously happy in a relationship. So, foundations are, did, they, did he tell her, you know what, I'm going to be with you, and then we're going to get married? Or is he like, babe, I love you. We're together. We're still going to be together. One year, five years, 10 years, they're still together. He's still faithful. What more do you really want? He's comfortable. He's just comfortable. I, I think it's a commitment. It's comfortable because, because you're amazing. Yeah. So you, it sounds to me How like what you're saying work? is that you don't believe in the institution of marriage. That's, not, that's, that's a separate. That. That's exactly what it's about. Yeah. No, 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 I'm not about that at all. Because it can't be. It so what is it? What is it? Like you just have no. It's about do what works for you. Like they have to have a conversation. If they've been here for ten years, obviously they're friends. She can come and say, "Yo, B, I want that next step. I want to get married. That's what I feel like. You know, we've been together. I love you. Let's do this." And if he is like, you know what? Yeah, let's. It might just not have clicked. To him, you girls don't understand that. It guys. might not have clicked. I'm telling you. All I'm my telling friends you, are married. Don't it might not that. have clicked. So okay, so friends. wait, hold on. My food is good. The sex is good. My, you know, so you're, you're, you're not going to just say that. No, I mean, me. Like you didn't say anything. What did you say? What's the second point? <laughs> no, no, wait. The food is good. What was yeah, good? The, the sex All right, is good. Great. I think, okay. Because yeah. <laughs> I don't think you've been with a girl for ten years if she's like uh, dead in bed. So what if they if, never had sex in ten years? Why would they not have sex for ten Maybe years? Maybe that's the oh, But, that's I mean, but, but, but in fairness, to to what you were saying, I think that 
that thing that people say of why buy, buy the cow when you can get the milk for free? Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of no. women set themselves because if but you're giving him that. everything yeah. wifey, there's no incentive for but him. In to mind, mind, you're already wifey. Valued. If you're opening your legs, if you're cooking, if you're doing all the wifey things, then I mean, he's not really going to be incentivized to propose. Yeah, so, so I you think guys, you guys have been to. I, I, don't know I say you ultimatum. Say ultimatum ten years. Ten years. Yes, you deserve an ultimatum. Yeah. Hi, Boo. Hi, how are you? Fantastic. Fantastic. Right. Here's what we're gonna do. You are going to have one month which is four weeks to go and decide what you want for your life me I'm going to stay here and enjoy my life we're not together for a month you figure out what you want to do and if you're not really ready for this ring commitment I'm going because what she's what, how old was she when she met him she was 10 years now so she's in her 30s so I'm guessing like oh, right so after I was you're 20 something in years. my prime I sat with you here <laughs> like an old day yeah, I've been sitting here I've been using she, my whole so body so much passion the way she's you, you talking I think this is happening to you this is happening to you but like and then I'm now 32 who's going to Oh, you guys right. Right. Yeah, don't listen to him. Right. Really? Who is really, you know, us, and you know, Lagos right. is, is she? But ultimatums are they really advisable? I don't, I don't know that I would give a guy an ultimatum. I, ten, I, years, ten, ten years, years. ten years, ten years is too, too much. much. Yes, I understand that, but it's at the end of the day, everybody this is three needs three women and one guy. You can't also I'm live. Upset. Okay, okay. I'm falling my hand. <laughs> I, I'm you sorry, can't I'm live sorry. your life. This is why I'm falling your hand. All right, I'm the kind of guy that will never get into any relationship without knowing. I mean, without being sure if I'm going to end up with a girl. So as I am liking you, I'm, I am telling you, say, babe. People like say we go end it together. I bet she's tried to leave, and people have said to her, "Oh my, oh, because this is what people say when you're in a relationship, and you say, oh, the man does this, he does that, blah blah blah.' They say, oh, there's no men out there, or you better keep what you have, blah blah blah. He treats you well, blah blah blah. And then you know what? You 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 realize that you've been in a relationship for ten years, and you're like, I don't have a ring, I don't have anything, and he still does things. He has, he's not changing. Like he maybe he's too love much. Him. He needs to reduce no. like she going out. She's asking for a proposal. No, because no, she's she asking for a proposal. Doesn't mean that. I'm no, just no, kidding. So maybe that's why she's been in a relationship for ten years. And then also, I find that when do they live in Lagos? Right? You said yes. So when you're in Lagos, people tend to say, oh, once you've dated somebody in Lagos, every Every, you, you can't really date again and I'm like what's that about and they're like no seriously like you're because, goods. yeah especially if you if he's that. like popular or you or they know oh. him they're like oh okay well no nobody's gonna come near he's you. one of those and brand like, names you know they're like some brand names in yeah and then people are like they said a brand name exactly so they're like oh but you know you can't leave because if you leave you know he nobody else is gonna come to you because everybody knows that was that guy's thing and yeah. now but, and I'm not getting from the guy's perspective I'm getting you don't ever want to get married <laughs> I'm not getting from the guy's nope, perspective. Ladies, I, love you guys. I put you in a corner. <laughs> I'm getting from a. Okay, so is it the ring? <clears throat> No, I, I believe if you're gonna get married, buy your wife a six. See, no, no, this yeah, is this sorry. is this is my idea. Buy your wife this is my What's my your idea? no, no, not my idea. That was the wrong word. This is my um, my thought pattern. I'm a very spontaneous guy. Mm. I can have in my mind to want to propose to you in the next five months. With and then, and wait, that, wait, and wait, 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 wait. Next five no, months. No, no, wait, wait. I have, I'm, I'm, I'm going there. Relax. <laughs> and then tomorrow, I feel. Mm. Oh, mm. let me do it right now. But I don't have the ring with me. Mm. I get a rubber band. So what? Right. For the meantime. No, woo -woo. Don't do it. Don't Hold on, you better time. wait till that. I would take a thread for the meantime, to what be honest. Meantime? I'm not hung up on diamonds, but... I want a thread. Why are we so... Yeah, because I think it's... Maybe his top shop ring. Or yeah, just, this, give me a this thread. This ring has been around the world. I mean, yeah. you were using thread, but I mean, just to, just to sort of down... The well, importance before, of the diamond I mean, ring. It's before, not I that, that, before I do that, before I do that, right. before I do the, the that. The emotion or whatever is fine, yes. but do it right. If you're gonna, you know you're gonna marry this babe, buy the right, the ring, yeah. propose yeah. at the right time, yeah. you know, and then do everything right. Why these are memories. Think, <laughs> these are memories. You, you have, have a to, girlfriend. Yes, I do. And I love her with all my heart. Aww. Oh, you're gonna make me cry. So, so would, you, would you take well to a timeline? Yes, I would. What if it was a situation where she got pregnant? Would you still go ahead and propose? Or do you feel it's a smart... You know, there are girls that do there that thing. There are girls that do that. You know, it's just like, I'm going to stop taking will, my contraceptives yeah. and, if some, you know, if boom. Any, if any woman thinks getting a child, getting pregnant for me would make me propose, she's missing something. I will never, yeah. ever replace my... Well, what I feel for you because I have a child by you. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, so do you so think you, that would... No, it won't. Quicken you? No, 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 no. Okay, it, it has to be okay. something else, not, okay, not, so not a child. So you be with her, like, you know, you, it wouldn't yeah, affect your relationship? Yeah, no, it depends on... Would the you break up if she has a kid for you? Would you be so mad that you'd be like... You try to trap me. You want to use no. a condom, though. Oh. <laughs> Condoms don't. Really I'm about to reach across this table for this guy. Like, was I the only oh, one having sex? Out. It's a yeah, two-way exactly. street. Yeah, Why didn't you use a condom? She, 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 she 
Wait, wait, don't, 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 don't even act like you don't know some, some ladies won't want that. Because they have a, they have a goal. I want to get pregnant for him. If you want to get pregnant for him, would you allow me to use a condom? No. Nope. Don't you have a choice? You'd be like, no, I'm going to put that on. Brother, at that point, <laughs> the choice is thrown out the window. I don't think you should use a baby as like bait. Mm, <laughs> baby saying, ring. No. He, 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 no. But I think some men do. Can, but that Men in happen. general, sometimes they need a bit of like a push, like pressure, like hi. But don't push with somebody else's life, man. No, I agree. No, yes, I'm not I'm condoning saying, yeah, that. No, no. Don't ever push with a baby. I see how a girl would be like, man. At <laughs> 34, 35. One child. There are some men. Like, I've had like my friend. Okay, a friend of mine, yeah, like, was it? No, hold up. <laughs> a friend of mine actually told me that, like, her boyfriend's friends said to her, oh, why don't you have a baby? And, um, like, you know, th that will make him marry you. And she's like, I don't want to have a baby. I'm not, I'm not in a rush. I just don't want him that, to be... Don't do that. It's not don't me. Don't do that, baby. So they're like, you should just get, get pregnant. Get pregnant, because he really wants a baby. Get pregnant. And she's like, okay, yeah, but I really want commitment. So... Yeah, marry me first, man. Marry me first. What's wrong with... Build a yeah, life together. What, it, see what I'm a child I'm is much so much pressure. more than, like, a ring. Like, hell, I don't really understand how people think getting married is so much more than having a child. It's another life that you have to look after and love together. So what do you mean by getting married so much more than having... No, like, people think that, oh, you know like how people have children, and then they say, oh, but it's too, I'm not ready to get married. You were ready to have a child. How are you not ready to... So you think it comes hand in hand? Yeah, it does come hand in hand. Man up to your responsibility. We decided to take real talk to the streets. The factors that lead to a guy deciding, not yet, or let's go, let's go straight in, are many. One is uh, financial empowerment, emotional immaturity. When the emotional immaturity kicks in, then there are baggages that a lot of women come with. Most of the time, some girls that are dated for 10 years, you can't combine, you can't say 10 years straight. Most relationships break up, they go their ways, they find out that apparently this guy that they were with was still better than the other, so they come back. Because what happens is that we normally just take a, a percentage for a whole. You see a guy who speaks well and you're like, oh, I just like how he talks, I like how he sings. Yeah, but singing, unless it's commercial, doesn't pay the bill. Six packs, unless the guy is a model, doesn't pay the bill. And so those factors begin to reveal themselves as time goes on. Not that they have, they have a period before a marriage. You understand? If you they feed yourself, maybe in the, the end of the day, you see like 3,000, 4,000. It can save 2,000 naira. The end of the year, it can save money. Can you wait? Can take marry him. Normal guy will say, "As he want to marry him, let's go and see him family." That is thing. So when you go to see him family, the family will ask you question. They will ask you many things before the girl will accept to marry you. Unless all these club girl can follow you, just go in your house without do do anything for your head. Before you know, he born two children or three children without no pay in that area. So that one, when the girl get problem, police will owe you. The African culture that I've messed up a lot of stuff, you know, that kind of stuff. But for me, I think it's not a big deal. If I'm cutting a girl, for instance, and I'm not talking, I think it's in the girl's, um, you know, you know, you know, interest to actually ask questions and say, oh, come, where are we going to with this old movement? Girls can actually, you know, propose and then let for the guy to. But for me, I love them when they propose, so it doesn't, it's not a big deal. I think it depends on the circumstance. Um, you know, yeah, there can be pressure, especially culturally, the culture that we live in. They kind of look at you like, well, if you're not married, you must be good. But I think as far as getting married, it's a big commitment. So, you know, each to their own. You shouldn't get married just because of pressure or pressure from family. But then on the flip side, you have to look at it like, if you're gonna be with somebody for a long time and you don't intend to marry them, then what are you really doing? Let me tell you where the problem, where the pressure really is. The, the pressure isn't really about when you act, it, it isn't even about the life after. More often than not, it's about that day, which is even the least important. People expect you to do a party of all parties, they expect you to invite who is who to the event. Event centers these days don't come cheap. Just the whole may cost you between 500,000 and a million. And then, plus there's cockage, which means if you're bringing, wherever it is you're renting, you have, if you can't cook your own food and bring it in cheap, and then you have to get a musician, you have to invite who is who, if you don't invite this or that. And then the thing is, when the guy thinks about it, he's overwhelmed. If only the girls will just chill and say, look, Leave this wedding of a lifetime and give me a marriage of a lifetime. Life would be so much better. So, let me go to you. Right. 
Would you accept a proposal if you were taking too long and a lady proposed to you? Nope, I will not. You wouldn't? I will not. Why? I would not. That, that just shows me that you're too desperate. Oh, wow. No, I think you're too proud. No, <laughs> oh, wow. you're too proud. <laughs> this is the thing, yeah? If, if you can do that, that means when you're under pressure and... Uh, I mean, you just take very, very delicate steps that might ruin our relationship. I mean, that alone. You're not afraid that I might say no? Uh, me, I can't take the issue. Sure, I will you lie, so I can't I can do it. No. But, First of you know, all, the fact that you would refuse it is like a little no, no, bit... But, well, That's very well, deep. Well, I know. If we're, you're we're, watching it as girlfriend, be very if, careful. And no, especially my, with the lady girl, that you've been <laughs> in a relationship with. No, my girl knows me, yeah? So she won't try. Okay, get, you know, she you know, will not try. My girl knows me, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> So if you no, were good, again, because you don't seem like you want anybody sort of ruffling your timeline, so would you accept the proposal? I would think that is super bold. I would think it's so cute. And if I did like her, I would marry the girl, man. Because for you to be able to do that, it means that, you know what, you know what you want. I'm, I'm, I'm that kind of person. If you know what you want, get what you want. Get your boy, man. So I would respect that. But if I don't like you, ooh, that's what I'm saying. It's going to be a like tough it, one, but I'll lay you down easy. Yeah, but I don't think she's going to do it with, I mean, if you really propose to a guy before, and you know he doesn't like, I think I'll be you'll so be good flattered, with reading whether yes. it's a good place. I might say no after two weeks, but I'll say First yes when you say First of all, I wouldn't even propose, so there you go. Yeah, too, too Why snuff. wouldn't you do it? <laughs> she's too good. Why would I propose? Because you know, this is the new age and people are like, oh, you know, we have to be open and we're moving. Yeah. No, she doesn't have to do all that. I mean, in Nigeria, I don't know if it's ever been done in Nigeria, but I know abroad people do it. Well, not abroad. Uh, I thought the new generation would be more adventurous. You guys, I'm, I'm really embarrassed to be sitting no, with you guys, man. Sorry, I'm not I, I've got to leave this place. But man. do you think that if she does do that, then she should be prepared to be the breadwinner in the family? It's not about because that. Prefer... Also, you would still be the breadwinner, but I of thought you course. were waiting because there was something holding you back. So no. if she then does it, and maybe you say I'm yes, just a very slow guy. <laughs> okay. I'm just a very chill, very laid back guy. So, so really, that would you have to tell me what you want. Him yeah. to yeah, if you say, baby, let's up. get married, and I'm in a good mood, daddy, I say, yeah, let's do this. No, that's, that's different what? from proposing, will you marry me? Let's, babe, let's get married. Babe, I think I'm ready to get married. Because you just answered the question the other way around. Yeah, do you understand? <laughs> if she and so goes would that incentivize you to step up if she, even if you weren't ready? So you've been dating for five years, and then she proposes she says, to you like, oh, no, 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 okay, you're not, you're, not get, you're not getting me right. I'm saying I'd rather she says, she tells me that she's ready to get married, or she's ready for me now than go down on one knee and ask me, will you marry me? <laughs> First of all, we had, we had an understanding that if I'm going to be with you, that means I might marry you. There's a huge chance that I will marry you. As a matter of fact, I actually want to marry you. That's why I'm with you. Mm -hmm. So you go down on one knee, take my place. What I'm supposed to do? Right. And will you? Oh. Okay, so that's sorry. almost yeah, stripping right. you of your it's manhood. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. And it's not ego, it's just... Controlling the situation. You know, it is a little bit of ego. <laughs> It is everything to do with ego. Your ego is very... I see the love. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> the ego is high. I think everybody needs to chill out. If you want to propose, male, female propose. If you don't want to propose, be happy. See, I think also that we as women, like a lot of the time, kind of think that they can... Oh, I can change his perception. I can change Thank his, you for his plan. That. I can change Thank the way he is. No, Thank you me. are not going to change him. Thank you. He's going to change if he wants to change. But exactly. He's nine times out of ten, they don't want to change. So what happens is you stay because you think he's going to change. And ten years later, you're still not married because he's not going to change. And he you make doesn't want mad to get for nothing, married. Man. He's yeah. giving you signs. Like women like to overlook things. And you know we have intuition. We're very lot, yeah. we're very sharp. So we know that, okay, really and truly, this guy isn't gonna marry me. But deep down in your heart, you, th you know, somewhere in your heart you think Oh, but I can get him to change. I can get him to change if I, I just make you know, it if I just do this and do that. And then 10 years later, you're still not married. So I think also women need to check themselves and just be realistic. Does this guy really want to get married? He may love you, yes. But if it ends up you getting married because of pressure, then you're going to have one of those marriages that she people talk of. Oh, she lives in Ikoi. She has this nice car. Yeah, but nice what about... But the, the guy is but, just but, like but, flo floating around. Aside from the fickle girls. reasons for the pressure. This is a bad thing that sort of plays, you know, to our own disadvantage where you kind of start expecting that he's supposed to behave a certain way. Yeah, that's And, you know, like you said, change. change. But we should have expectations. But the right, yeah, we should but the right have, guy maybe will. Maybe not too high, but yeah, we should have expectations. No, but the right guy will. I don't think you cannot have expectations in your... Women, again, sometimes that's what I'm saying. We pick the wrong guy. Yeah. You don't want to pick the guy that like is more in love with you because we have like a problem. And, oh, stop calling guys. When guys bug yeah. your life, like oh, stop calling me now. Why is this yeah. girl my oh, you guys? You know, we we kind of.
sometimes don't like that. We like yeah. that guy that's like, why is that guy not calling me back? Yeah. yeah, so that's our fault as well. Because the guy that wants to love you, love you, love you, you kind of leave him Love me, love me, love me, love me. No, 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 no. You guys are pushing your husbands away. You front too much. You front too much. So, really? You are not my husband. So, okay, okay, so can you give me exa an example of how I'm, I'm, like, just based on what I've said, how am I fronting? I don't understand. But right, I'm sure you have, of course, you're, you're going to have tons of men, men around you. Contrary to that <laughs> belief. That's, no, that I don't. Is, that is, that, that's the first problem. You're probably pushing them away somehow. How? Yes, I've toasted you three times before the camera came on. <laughs> yeah. What did she say? What did she, she say? She said, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> and I was sipping my gouda. Well, you can join the conversation by using the hashtag Andani Real Talk. If you have a topic you would like us to discuss, follow us at Andani TV on Twitter and Instagram using the hashtag Andani Real Talk. Till next time, see you on Real Talk. Yo, lift so fine. Look at you. Hey, if you just love the video you just watched, make sure you subscribe to Ndani TV channel right now and get more videos. Who doesn't like that? Oh, by the way, my name is Aka. Who knows like better team?